I've been using Notion pretty much every day for the last five years. It's an incredible app, but there's one massive flaw that no one seems to be talking about. Notion does almost everything. And on the one hand, that's amazing. On the other hand, what you'll find is the best apps are often the very simple apps that tend to do one task, but they do that one task very, very well. And that right there is Notion's problem, is that he's trying to do everything. And as a result, it often doesn't do each individual task well, and it is very complicated if you're new to Notion. So if you're looking to simplify your digital life or if you're looking to start using Notion but you're a little bit overwhelmed and you're looking for alternatives, here are three alternatives to Notion that I'm using. Now let's move on to Todoist. So Notion does have a task list feature. However, because as I've mentioned earlier, Notion tends to try to do everything, its task list feature just isn't great in my opinion. When I want to see what tasks I have, I don't want to open a great big distracting app like Notion where there's hundreds of pages Pages, I just want to open one small app that opens in milliseconds and I can see exactly what tasks I have to do for the rest of the day. And that's where Todoist comes in. So 95% of the time when I use Todoist is on my phone, not actually on my desktop. And as you can see right here, Todoist is right on my home screen so I can see exactly what tasks I need to do every day as soon as I unlock my phone. It's very important to me that my task list is not hidden away in an app that I'm never going to open and I'm going to forget about, but it's right there on my home screen. I'm not going to forget this. And this system works. I've been using Todoist as a widget on my phone for at least the last eight or nine years. Whereas if I was using a task list in Notion, I can very easily forget that my task list is there. So it's just not that effective having a task list in Notion, in my opinion. One of the biggest reasons for procrastination is when we just don't know what to do. Often it can be because we're overwhelmed because we have so many tasks to do. And this is a great feature from Todoist to be able to overcome that. I can color code each task in terms of priority. So you can see here, it says in red, film video, videos because that is a priority it needs to be done today. So as soon as I open my task list, I can see the most urgent tasks are highlighted in red. It's such a simple system, but it really does work. And as I said, I've been using Todoist for the last eight or nine years. Every single day, I've not paid Todoist a single penny. I'm still on the free version because all the features that I need it to do are free. I usually want or need some of the features that are behind the paywall, but with Todoist, it's one of the few apps that I haven't paid a single penny for, and I really respect Todoist for that. Another nice feature is that I can schedule recurring tasks. So for example, every Monday I film. So every Monday I have an automatic task that pops up every Monday morning that says that I need to film. So I don't need to keep remembering or keep adding it to my calendar every Monday I need to film. I actually have two task lists on my phone. The first one is my work task list, which is on my home screen here. But my second task list is a weekend task list where I need to swipe right and it's right there. So obviously the weekend tasks are tasks that are less important, but still need doing. So in my opinion, if you do need a task list, Todoist is way better than Notion in pretty much every single way. Xtiles is the next Notion alternative that I want to talk about. So the biggest problem with Notion is that it's so overwhelming. I started using Notion years ago and I remember I procrastinated on actually using Notion for months because it was so overwhelming. But Xtiles is basically Notion, but for the non-tech savvy user, if you like. So you can see here, it can do note taking, planning, collaboration, project management and productivity on the go. And I'll show you very shortly a project that I'm working on right now within Xtiles. It's like if Notion and Miro had a baby together. <laughs> I like that. And Xtiles is basically a whiteboard where you can design that whiteboard however you like. It is super, super flexible. Imagine that your workspace is not limited by standard frames, but with Xtiles, every element adjusts to your needs. You can very easily resize elements, you can drag and drop images, you really do have full control of your workspace. It's a space that fully reflects your personality and work style. And because of the simplicity and because of its flexibility, you can focus on what's important and you can also manage projects from every angle. And I'll show you how so if you've watched any of my previous videos, I mentioned probably that I'm doing a series of 30 day challenges like run 5K every day, swim 10 laps every day, jump rope, 
20 minutes every day. This month I'm doing run 10K every day because I have a marathon coming up and I have an Ironman coming up as well. And so I'm training for those events. And this is the dashboard that I have to help keep me in check. So I've got my running goals, swimming goals, cycling goals, and jump rope goals because I'm training for an Ironman 70.3. And of course, an Ironman triathlon has three parts to it. It has the running part to it, the swimming part to it, and the cycling part. So I've got to make sure that I'm training for all three disciplines. And this chart just helps me with that. So you can see these are my goals that I want to have struck and off before the end of the year. So improve 5K run from 27 minutes to sub 24 minutes, which I've done. I've joined a running club. I've run a half marathon. I'm running a full marathon in December, so in a couple of months. And then after that, I want to run an ultra marathon. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but it's my goal, so I am. So then is the swimming goal. Improve freestyle from two laps to 100 laps. I like how visual this is. And this is essentially the homepage to this whole project. You can see there's five tabs here, goals, monthly planner, habit tracker, fit in 13, meeting notes. And the first thing that I see when I open this one year transformation are these four goals. So I've got my swimming goals, cycling goals, and jumbo goals. And hopefully by the end of the year, all of these will be ticked off. Then I go over to the monthly planner and I keep this as simple as I can. So I'm actually on month four now. So month one, three months ago, was running 5K every day and I, I did all of these. Then the month after that, I was focusing on my swimming and so I, I've ticked all of these. Last month, I was jump roping every day for 20 minutes. I've actually completed that. And so now I actually bought my bicycle. Maybe you can see it right behind me. I literally bought my bike a few days ago. And so in a few days, I'm going to be starting this challenge, which is cycling 10K every day for 30 days. Bye bye, I can tick that off, I can click this off. So by the end of this month, I can tick this box off. And this monthly planner is just 30,000 foot overview of how my training is going for that month. The next tab, which is my habit tracker, and this is super important. So the first tab are the goals. The second tab is 30,000 foot overview. The habit tracker is tracking my daily activities. So as I mentioned on the first month, I was running 5K every day. I hit every day except for Tuesday and Wednesday. It was a while ago. I, go, I don't remember what happened, but it was probably injury. Uh, month two, swim 10 laps every day for 30 days. There's one day that I missed here and one day that I missed here, which is not too bad. Jump rope two days I've actually done this one so I've completed this and I haven't started this uh, cycling 10k every day for 30 days because I've just bought my bike now so I'll be starting that next week and as I go through the week I can tick each one and I feel like X-Tiles compared with Notion is just a lot more visual. Notion does a lot more it has like complex database and you can use formulae and things like that and you can use coding, and there's so many things that you can do, but it is overwhelming. X-Tiles is a lot more visual, a lot simpler to just get started, really. Then I go into Fit in 30. So this tab is basically the business side of these 30-day challenges that I'm doing. I thought, okay, I'm doing these 30-day challenges. I might as well inspire and motivate other people and help other people complete their own 30-day challenge as well, as opposed to just me doing it by myself. And so, this is the 30, uh, Fit in 30 community. We've got 37 students in there so far and we're launching that this month. So the business side of it is basically we've got the traffic engine, which is YouTube. We've got the landing page, which is the website. And then we've got the community itself, which is video tutorials, monthly group calls, accountability coaches, that kind of thing. And the next tab are my meeting notes. And I really just wanted to kind of show you a real life example of how I use X tiles. So the meeting notes here is basically, as the name suggests, meeting notes of a meeting that I had a few days ago. And you can see it's very action oriented. It's really important for me that meetings are action oriented and tasks delegated to people in the meeting for when we sign off the meeting. And I'll show you how easy it is to create a page. So you can either create your own blank page which is not what I normally do, but it's nice if you have a vision of exactly how you want your page to be. What I normally do though, is I go to templates and I find something similar to what I'm looking for. So let's say I'm looking for a... trip planner. Let's say I wanna go on holiday. So I can use pre-filled, create uh, or add to this existing project, so it'll create a new tab. 
and I can very easily use this template to start my own trip planner. I wish I could use this, but unfortunately I'm not going on holiday anytime soon. Xtiles is also really good for collaboration. For example, if I want to share this with my team, which I already have, then they can obviously access this. This was really important for my meeting notes. Of course, it's important that whoever you're on a meeting with, they have a copy of the meeting notes as well. So you just press share and then you can add the emails there. If you, if you have ADHD, for example, and Notion can be so distracting because there's so many things that you can do, Xtiles helps you focus in on the things that are actually important. It's great for creatives, it's great for Gen Z, just to help you stay creative and organized. So if you do wanna check x -Tiles out, I'll drop a link in the description below and you can do exactly that. If you're looking for simplicity when it comes to taking notes, you really can't get more simple than Apple Notes. And what I see happen a lot is when people start with Apple Notes, then they will get kind of lured into more complex note-taking software like Notion, and then they'll use Notion for a little bit, but then they'll end up going back to Apple Notes. And I know that happens because that's exactly what happened to me. I used to have my notes in Apple Notes, but you can see here how many pages I have and so all of these notes just kind of get lost and so I stopped using Notion for my notes and now I'm using Apple Notes which is far simpler. The first thing that I like about Apple Notes is how easy everything is to find. For example, because Apple Notes is a native app, so I go to command space, I type in Kelly McGrain and straight away it finds the exact Apple Note that I want it to find and everything is searchable, the title, the note itself, and also text within a PDF is also searchable. And that's also one reason why I don't really use folders for my notes. I just have literally a big list of notes because everything is so searchable and that's how I find my notes. Apple Notes also has a scan feature where I can scan a PDF on my phone and it will scan that PDF into Apple Notes. And that feature is behind a paywall on a lot of note-taking apps, but with Apple Notes, it's free. And because Apple Notes was created by Apple, all my notes are saved into iCloud so I can access my notes on my phone, my MacBook, or my iPad mini, which is really very useful. Apple Notes really is about speed and efficiency. When I want to take notes, I don't want to open like Notion or a big, heavy, cumbersome app. I just want to get to notes very, very quickly. And that's why I've set up a hotspot. So when I move my cursor to the top left, you can see this small square come out. I click on that small square and then it opens up my notes straight away. I click there for new note and I can start typing. And you can set up this hotspot by going to system settings, desktop and dock scroll down to the bottom hot corners and you can set quick notes to open in either of the four corners so now that i've said all of these amazing things about apple notes with its simplicity comes its drawback it just does notes and the notes are a little bit dull you can't really add colors to them you can't really change the fonts easily it just looks a bit boring as opposed to for example x tiles where you can have colorful tables you can put images where you want them you just have a lot more freedom and you can be a lot more creative with an app like x tiles as opposed to apple notes but for a bare bones note taker apple notes is incredible so x tiles apple notes and to do is to the three apps that I would recommend if you are looking to simplify your digital life. And as I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Xtile. So if you want to check them out for free, I'll drop a link in the description below. And if you like this video, you're gonna love this video right here. I'll see you over there.